Totten Foundation. Hobart Frisbee. Oh, that's that professor jerk. He must have... Uh-oh. Hmm. I never would have it believed it. It seems impossible. Have I missed anything? No, Audley, I was just explaining, and I repeat, gentlemen. I actually heard Rimsky-Korsakov played on a washboard, a, wash a bicycle pump, bicycle a plunger pump. of some sort, and pots and pans. You Heaven only knows what else. music out of pots and pans. You sure you had nothing to drink but buttermilk? Oh, quite sure. What else was there? Please tell us. I, I heard remarkable music, strange rhythms. I talked to people. What kind of All people? All sorts of people. Musicians, singers. Chorus girls. All sorts Prima donna. of people. And did, did you go backstage? Yes, yes. Backstage? I had... I had one conversation with a young girl in her dressing room. Dressing room? But uh, oh. unfortunately, she wasn't interested in our project. Uh, blonde brunette. Oh, I don't remember, Otley. I didn't notice. I, I, I once went backstage to see Pavlova. Imagine ballerinas and all that. Mm. Tight, I suppose. Naturally in tights. With that ineffable smell of rice powder. On bare shoulders. <clears throat> It's getting late, gentlemen. Perhaps we should go to bed. Oh, yeah. I'd like a little bit more. Me too. Oh, Frisbee. Yes? Frisbee, in your travels this evening, did you encounter any music where the melodic figure in straight eights is changed to one of umpadiddle character? What's that? Umpadiddle. What are you reading here, Markenbrook? Well, that's one of the books I procured this afternoon. Jazz, Hot and Highbridge. Oh, jazz. Oh. That's very interesting. I should like to uh, read it after you get through with it. Yeah, I particularly like the chapter on hot rhythm. Oh, the strange fascination for me. I can understand that, but I wouldn't allow myself to neglect the Palestina research. Oh. Why, that's our doorbell. At three o'clock in the morning? Oh, that will be the revisions on Stravinsky's new ballet. I asked them to be sent by Airmail Special. Oh. I'll get it. Yeah. Professor? Uh -huh. Am I late for school? Hmm? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, are those kids in my class? Oh, no, those are just my colleagues. Oh. Uh, 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 I must uh, apologize for their lack of attire. Oh, that's all right, Professor. And for the fact that I don't have any coat on. You know, once I watched my big brother shave. Oh, you did? Frankly, your coming here was the last thing I expected. Your no was so definite. Well, I got thinking it over. Music has done a lot for me, and, well, here was a chance to do something for music. Well, then I take it you've reconsidered. Yep, you talked me into it, Professor. Oh, my goodness. What was that? Oh, uh, uh, that was Professor Audley. Any more of them around? I hope not. Boy, this place sure is loaded with antiques. Present company accepted. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, may I have your coat? Yeah, thanks. Oh. Oh, Mozart. See, I've got a copy like this with a radio inside. Uh, are you sure you don't want your coat? No, I'm fine. Except I got a run in the stocking. Well, when do we start, Professor? What's your method? Oh, it's quite simple, really. If you'll be here no later than 9.30 tomorrow morning... Tomorrow we'll... morning? Yes. Yes, we've arranged a roundtable discussion with a group of people of various musical backgrounds, well, you, you see. You uh, don't think we could sort of begin right now? A begin... Uh, well, Miss Honey, it's past three o'clock. Oh, fool professor, let's get ourselves a couple of drinks. You light the fire, maybe, and you could start working on me right away. Oh, I wouldn't dream of imposing at this hour. Listen, I figured on working all night. Oh, you did... Well, any random discussion uh, would... Yes? <clears throat> Prove of no scientific value whatsoever. You see, I, I must have my notes thoroughly prepared for tomorrow morning's seminar. Okay, and, uh, where do I sleep? I beg your pardon? Where do I sleep? Well, I, I don't know. Where do you usually sleep? I am usually in Brooklyn, but tonight I'm going to sleep here. Have uh, you right? Oh, oh, here? Oh, oh, why not? Well, well I, I mean, we're all bachelors here, oh. Miss Honey, except maybe Professor Audley. And oh, Professor. He was a oh. widow, but there's a sleep here. Oh, no. You see, we... No woman has ever... Even Miss Bragg, our housekeeper, goes home every night at 7... Listen, if you want me here tomorrow morning at 9.30... Yes, I do, Miss Honey. I definitely do. But even the most free-thinking people will have to respect... Now, wait a minute. Feel that. Go on. Feel that foot. <laughs> now what have you got to say? Uh, 
It's cold. Mm-hmm. It's cold and it's wet. Now, come here. Come here. Closer. Hiya, kids. Uh, how, how, you how you doing? Now, look down my throat. Oh, come on. Oh, what do you see, huh? I don't know what to look for. Well, there's a slight rosiness in the laryngeal region. There, you see, he knows. Yes. Who are you? Me, I'm, Oh, this is Professor he? Twingle and Professor Gerkakoff, Dr. Do Alpini. Do oh, oh, wait a minute. Not so fast. I'll get to know them. Come here, Twinkie. I think I've got a fever, fever. Oh, yes, she definitely has. Oh, yes, Certainly, yes. and he wants to put me off. Oh, you're oh, right. That's good. Right. Right. That is right. Right. You know, it's been raining and the streets are still wet. No. no 9.30 for me if he puts me out in oh, there. Naturally, but you don't understand what I'm... the street's cold and the subway's hot and full of germs. I'm a pushover for streptococcus. Could I have this kid? Excuse me. <laughs> really, I don't understand you, Frisbee. Why take chances? Yeah, with such yeah. valuable material. Think That's of right. your work, Professor Frisbee. I am thinking of my work. You see, they get the point. I get the point, too, what I'm trying uh, desperately to explain. Gentlemen, with... may I make a suggestion here? Yes. Why not let the young lady sleep in my room? At what? 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 Well, well, I often bunk with Dr. Alfini during an electrical storm. <laughs> he, 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 he's afraid of thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then it's all settled. I guess I'll turn in. Oh, well, uh... Could I have my coat? Uh, 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 couldn't you uh, possibly reconsider? I, uh, uh... This way, please. I'll show you to my room. Yes, we all will. Oh, no, I know where my own room is without help from anyone. Well, now, why, why couldn't, couldn't we all go? Oh, gentlemen, I mean, I... please, don't bother. I'll find it. Just rough out the directions. Top of the stairs, the first door to the right. Could I have my coat? Oh, please. Thank you. Heidi ho. Heidi ho. Just one moment, please. Gentlemen, this is all highly irregular. Why? Suppose this came to the attention of the Foundation. And what about Miss Bragg in the morning? Well, what are you are we talking going... about? This is research, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Sure, and I'm the guinea pig. Yes, a specimen under the microscope. Wonderful thing. Yes, research. Wonderful. It yes. is a searchlight of truth. Without research, people would still think the Earth was flat. Oh, that's ridiculous. And they'd I'll... still look upon a tomato as a poisonous fruit. Mm -hmm. right. There, you see? And I want you to look at me, Professor Frisbee, as another tomato. What? Just another tomato.